If you like the maneuverability of a Class B van, but you want more living space, then Class C motorhomes may meet your needs. The Winnebago Navion 24D and the Tiffin Wayfarer 25RW are both Class C motorhomes that are kind of unique in the industry. Now they're both 25 feet 8 inches in length, making them longer than any Class B for sure, but shorter than many Class A and even other Class C motorhomes. But take a look at this layout. When that slide is out, you have just a ton of living space because that large slide breaks open the interior of these coaches and it allows for a permanent dinette, a separate lounge, and a walk around Murphy bed. Those three things make these two coaches unique and frankly, worthy of your consideration. Now, before we head inside, let's take a look at the exterior of these coaches. Now, neither of these coaches is going to win a beauty contest, but that's true of every Class C. There are swoopy graphics, but the manufacturers have to do something to cover up these expansive vertical sidewalls. Both coaches do feature over cab bunks, and we'll see those when we head inside. There's also plenty of exterior storage. In fact, nearly the same on both coaches. 37 cubic feet on the Wayfarer and 39 cubic feet on the Navion. For the 2020 model year, the Navion has 9 cubic feet less exterior storage, likely to make way for a larger gray water tank, which we'll talk about later. And while we're talking about exterior storage, let's also talk about occupant and cargo carrying capacity. And this is one area where these two are quite different. The Navion 24D has a respectable 1,100 to 1,200 pounds, while the Wayfarer has, frankly, a pretty unusable 550 to 700 pounds. Now, that's significantly less when you subtract out the weight of the driver and passenger and a full tank of fresh water, and you're left with something like 95 pounds for all your cargo. Realistically, you don't have enough cargo carrying capacity to safely take your basic belongings and safely drive down the road. And that's the one huge negative going for the Wayfarer. You should always check for the occupant and cargo carrying capacity for a motorhome. It's a yellow sticker on the passenger door that looks like this. Now, both these coaches are built on the Mercedes Sprinter cutaway chassis. We're seeing the 2018 model year chassis here, but both are now becoming available on dealer lots with the new 2019 VS30 Sprinter chassis. The 2019 model year chassis has the upgraded cab and the newly updated active safety features like active brake assist, active lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control. So whether you get the 2018 or 2019 model year, you'll get a 3-liter V6 diesel engine that's capable of delivering up to 188 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. You can expect to get around 16 to 18 miles per gallon. Okay, let's head inside. Really similar layouts here, almost identical. Almost the entire length along the driver's side is a slide which is out in all the shots you're going to see. Let's start with the dinette, which is located directly behind the cab. It's large enough to fit a person on each side comfortably and on both models, there's storage under the seats. Although given that limited cargo carrying capacity on the Wayfarer, I'm just not sure how useful that storage is. On the 2020 model year of the Navion, the dinette you see here is replaced with a larger U-shaped dinette capable of seating three or more. On both the Wayfarer and the Navion, there are a couple lap restraints, but unfortunately, no three-point seat belts, so no traveling with your kids or grandkids, unfortunately. On both these models, the dinette can be converted into a bed. On the 2019 model year Navion, the bed measures 54 by 74 inches, but on the 2020 model year, with the U-shaped dinette, the bed is significantly longer but less wide, measuring 42 by 79 inches. On the Wayfarer, the bed measures exactly the same as on the 2019 Navion, 54 by 74 inches. On the Wayfarer, you can opt to swap out the dinette for 68-inch reclining theater seating or a 70-inch trifold sofa bed. 
There's an optional second TV that can be placed over the entryway door on the Wayfarer. On the Navion, there's a TV above the galley. All right, let's move into the second big distinguishing feature on these coaches, and that's a separate living area just behind the dinette. Again, these lounges are nearly identical. Both feature a 60 inch wide sofa. On the Navion, a pedestal table can be set up, but the standard TV on the Wayfarer is more sensibly placed directly in front of you. So you have to decide, is it more important having a pedestal table for the lounge or a more sensibly placed TV? To convert the lounge into your bedroom, you just lower the Murphy bed. The bed on the Wayfarer measures 60 by 74 inches. The bed on the Navion is one inch longer at 60 by 75 inches. A unique selling feature for both coaches is that the bed has full walk around access and the refrigerator can still be accessed when the bed is down. The Wayfarer has a large opening window at the head of the bed. On the Navion, there's a padded headboard with a smaller opening window on the side of the slide. The Navion also has a bit of overhead storage when the bed is down, which is missing on the Wayfarer. Now, bed comfort is good on both these coaches. The mattress is thicker on the Wayfarer, but the Navion implements a wooden slat system for additional support and air circulation. Both coaches also feature a third berth above the cab, and they're about the same size, measuring 49 by 75 inches. So these coaches can sleep up to six if a couple of those are kids. Heading into the bathrooms, these are both three-piece dry baths, meaning that the sink and toilet are separate from the shower. Now both have windows in here to let some light in, but the window on the Wayfarer also opens. And although these bathrooms are nearly identical in size, the Wayfarers feels just a lot more open. And that's partly because the Navion has a large wardrobe closet in the bathroom. On the Wayfarer, the wardrobe is moved out of the bathroom into the lounge slash bedroom. And that really just opens up the bathroom. While we're in the bathroom, let's take a look at tank sizes. They're pretty similar. On the Wayfarer, you get a slightly larger 38 gallon freshwater tank, but the Navion has a meaningfully larger black water tank. They both have about the same sized gray water and liquid propane tanks. Although Winnebago increased the capacity of the gray water tank for the 2020 model year to 41 gallons, likely by reducing the amount of exterior storage, which I think is a great call. Moving back up into the galleys, they're both located on the passenger side of the van. Now, the galley on the Navion is significantly larger. By moving that wardrobe out of the lounge and into the bathroom, they freed up a couple extra feet and they've given that extra space to the galley, which gives the Navion more counter prep space, a larger double sink and more under counter storage. The Wayfarer has significantly less counter prep space and under counter storage because of that wardrobe in the bedroom that prevents you from having a larger galley. Now, both these coaches feature a convection microwave and a two burner LP cooktop, but on the 2020 model year Navion, they've moved to a more residential single burner propane cooktop and a second induction cooktop. Both coaches feature a 6.5 cubic foot refrigerator with a separate freezer. The Navion's though is compressor driven while on the Wayfarer it's an absorption type. So this is an important decision. You have to decide what's more important to you, a larger galley or a more open bathroom. Let's take a look at the electrical systems. Both are lead acid based battery systems. Now the 2020 Navion can be upgraded to lithium while the Wayfarer has no lithium upgrade path. They both sport a thousand watt inverters. The Wayfarer can be upgraded to a 2000 watt inverter. On the 2020 Navion, you can upgrade to a 2000 watt inverter, but that's not available on the 2019 model. Both have onboard generators. The Wayfarer's is diesel and the Navion comes standard with 200 watts of solar, which is also expandable. The Wayfarer doesn't come with standard solar, so I have to say that the 2020 Navion has the superior electrical system with its lithium upgrade and standard 200 watts of solar. Okay, as far as pricing, the 2019 Navion 24D can be found with dealer pricing around 115,000. 
2019 Wayfarer 25RW's prices vary quite a bit with dealer pricing on the lower end around 110,000 all the way up to 150,000. As far as warranties, both just offer a one-year coach warranty and both offer one year of roadside assistance. I can only recommend the Wayfarer 25RW if you know that you're going to be traveling light and won't need much cargo carrying capacity. For everyone else, the Winnebago Navion 24D is a better choice with a nearly identical layout to the Wayfarer, but with a lot more meaningful cargo carrying capacity. Okay, that wraps it up for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. To convert the lounge into your bedroom, you just lower the Murphy bed. The bed on the Wayfarer measures... <laughs> on the Wayfarer, you can opt to swap out the dinette for a 68-inch reclining cedar theed... Bleh. <laughs> for a 68-inch recliner... Oh my god. <clears throat> you... For a 68-inch reclining cedar the oh my god why is this such a tongue twister for me okay let's try this again on the wayfarer you can opt to swap out the dinette for 68 inch recliner cedar on the wayfarer you can opt to swap out the dinette for 68 inch reclining theater seating oh my god all right i will get at this take on the Wayfarer, you can opt to swap out the dinette for 68-inch reclining theater the On the Wayfarer, you can opt to swap out the dinette for 68-inch reclining theater seating or a 70-inch trifold sofa bed.